What's up guys? Hope you guys are having a great Thursday. Really excited uh, to go dive into all of the amazing questions that I got earlier this week uh, that you guys asked me on my Instagram channel. I've got them pulled up right here, ready to go. So we're gonna go for like five or six minutes, see how many I can get through. I'm hoping to find some that I haven't used before um, or answered before, excuse me. Um, so let's get going. Let's start the timer. We'll go for six minutes. Maybe we'll go over. All right, let's do it. Alrighty. So we're just going to dive right in. Um, Amelia Pepper, do you have a pregame playlist? Um, no, I'm typically not the most savvy with music. So I tend to leave it to like Alex Oz or Alice Mercer or Laura Zimmerman. Um, but for me, I'll listen to anything. I like any kind of music. Um, L85, how do you practice the draw when you're by yourself? I do a lot of snags. I do a lot of wrist strength. Um, just trying to get as comfortable finding the ball in the air, even though I'm not under pressure so that when I do get to a game, I'm good to go. Um, if you could be any person for the day, dead or alive, who would you be and why? Sophia Hess five. That's a new, a new question. Um, I don't know if I could be any, if I could be anyone. Um, I don't have like a general or like a very specific person, but I think I'd want to be either a country singer, assuming I could sing or a skydive instructor. Those just seem like really fun jobs. Um, what's your go-to breakfast before a game? Chloe sports one. Um, for me, I'm pretty simple. So a big, a wheat bagel, peanut butter and jelly with a banana and some chocolate milk. Um, Danny Galman, best advice for people in high school to overall improve and refine skills before college. Um, I'd suggest working on stick work and fitness. Those are two things that you can control no matter what. Um, and then watch as much film as you can, college film, high, uh, high school film, pro film, international film. Just become a student of the game and build that lacrosse IQ. Um, Beth Anderson, what did you find helped the most when you got anxious or stressed throughout your career? Um, you know, I tried to remember that lacrosse is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be fun. I'm supposed to be out here enjoying myself, enjoying playing. Um, so anytime I got super stressed, I kind of thought back to why I started playing in the first place. Um, who is your biggest inspiration and why Kayla Walker? Um, you know, that's a great question. I think I'm continually inspired by my teammates, uh, for different reasons. And I have been my entire life. So from high school and club to college and pro and us, um, you know, I'm continually inspired by the incredibly strong, um, fearless women I'm surrounded by. And that just, they, they make me feel good and they inspire me to do better and to be better. And so I wouldn't say it's one person. I'd say it's sort of my entire team. Um, any advice for freshmen looking to play varsity and be recruited? Angelina Krausen. Um, I think, you know, focus on your individual skills and, and honing those, but also focus on being a great teammate. Um, I, in tryouts, I look for the people who not only play well individually, but make the people around them better. And that's the same for recruiting. So just making sure you're not only focusing on yourself, but focusing on others and what you can do to impact the team to the best of your abilities. Uh, Coach G11, what do your meal snacks look like in a day? Um, typically I don't eat breakfast. I'm not a big breakfast eater, um, but I will have like a smoothie kind of mid morning. Um, from there, you know, depending on what my day looks like, um, you know, I'll eat, I'll, I eat, tend to eat smaller meals throughout the day. So I'll eat a sandwich or I'll eat, you know, another smoothie or, um, some fruit and peanut butter or granola bars. Um, you know, just trying to get in nutrients when I can in between lessons and, and school and class and whatnot. And then at dinner, uh, that's usually when I go, go all in. So, uh, cooking a bit, I'm a big, big sh cook. Um, I wouldn't say a chef, I, I cook. Um, so any kind of food at dinner, that's what my go-to is. And then I always like to end the night with something sweet. So whether that's, you know, a bowl of cereal or a popsicle or a little cookie, um, I do tend to end my nights with something sweet. Um, going through questions. 
What's your favorite motivational quote, Katie Marks 825? Um, right now it's, we can do hard things. Um, that's something that I read in Glennon Doyle's Untamed and that's sort of been my uh, mantra throughout quarantine is that we can do hard things. Um, what were some things you focused on to get where you are now at a younger age? Great, uh, Grace Outley. Um, I think I focused on, you know, understanding the game and why I was doing what I was doing. So of course, you know, stick work and ground balls and shooting and whatnot, but beyond the fundamentals, um, you know, I tried to understand why I was doing what I was doing and I had coaches who kind of pushed that, um, uh, mindset onto us as well. So that was really helpful. Um, what should I say to someone who says that women's lacks is easy or isn't a sport? Colleen Desmond. Um, one, I think that's a pretty ignorant comment for whoever says that, but two, you know, I've always believed in just like killing them with kindness. So, um, you know, it is an incredible sport and there's so many incredible women who play it, who coach it, who are passionate about it. Um, so I would just suggest that they go watch again and, um, you know, maybe if they want to come have a catch around, they can see how difficult it is to catch with our sticks. Um, but I would, I would try to just, I wouldn't get angry. I would just try to kill them with kindness and take the high road. Uh, we'll go five more. We've hit our six minute mark, but we'll go five more questions. Um, who did I look up to when I was younger? Annalise Kippers. Um, you know, I was a big soccer fan growing up, so Mia Hamm was my idol and Abby Wambach. Um, I wanted Abby Wambach's really short haircut. Um, Mia Hamm was just a rock star, and so she was, those two were like my inspiration growing up. I was really big into soccer. Um, how have you grown mentally as you've continued playing lax, test billings? Um, you know, I've really tried to one, work on my preparation before games, mentally preparing, visualization, watching film. But two, um, I've tried to just play a little looser and, and have fun. And, you know, when I make mistakes, kind of taking the second of to take stock in what happened and what I can choose to, what I need to improve moving forward. And then I just kind of let it go. So um, I think as I've gotten older, um, you know, I, the mistakes don't, seem a little more trivial and less less massive as they did when I was younger. So I try to remember everyone makes mistakes and I am too, and just to learn from it and move on. Three more. Um, how do you make time for everything? I live by a planner. This is where everything I do and what I'm thinking and what I need to do in the future lives. So I would suggest either getting a planner or a virtual or an electronic one. I have both, but I just like having something I can touch and write on and open and whatnot. Two more questions. We're gonna go find two more questions. Um, recruiting tips during these times. Kylie Ardill, I'm gonna suggest that you guys go back to my September 1st video um, that I did on Tuesday uh, for some tips if you're a junior, but if you're not a junior or you're, you're getting into, you're recruiting this kind of this next cycle, just go out and play. Go out and play, be the best teammate you can be, um, work your butt off and the opportunities will be there. Whether coaches are seeing you virtually or in person, they will find you. Um, all right. And last one, Lax by Gabby. What would you tell your middle school self? Um, I would tell you that I would tell my middle school self that the acne goes away, um, that your thighs and your athletic physique will help you play at some of the highest levels and get to participate in experiences that you could never have dreamed of. Um, and that, to not take life so seriously and that the sport and school and social things are meant to be fun. Um, so to just enjoy them and not, um, not get as worked up or, or tense or upset as I did. Middle school is a really tough time. I struggled with body image issues. I struggled with, um, you know, accepting my athletic physique and, and what that meant for me and sports were really where I found my home. Uh, so, I would suggest finding, you know, something you're passionate about to, to help you through those tough times and 
knowing that it does get better. It really, really does. Um, I think that was a good one to end on. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in and for asking such, uh, such amazing questions. I'll be continuing to do this um, throughout the next couple of months and years and whatnot. But uh, until then, thanks so much. Stay safe and hope to see you soon. Bye, guys.